What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new tactics video and today we've got a special one. It is going to be built around an asymmetrical tiki taka possession based sort of tactic style. It averaged 67% possession over on one of the saves and this tactic is designed for all the top teams but it can be used with anyone. Now trust me you guys are going to enjoy this. If you do, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel and do turn on notifications and also do come over to the Twitch, it's going to be on the screen and in the description as always. We're going to be live again for the rest of the week when you see this video, so do come over in the evenings but let's go ahead and get in to the test and phase. So let's kick things off then with what is going to be Fenerbahce, obviously over in the Turkish division. Now, they are one of the favourites to win this competition, but to win that by this much is still very impressive in my opinion. 95 points on the tally, obviously an absolutely dominating league over the likes of Besiktas. We also won the Kapasi Trophy. I believe that's how you say that. I do apologise if I am wrong. Not the best display when it comes to um the sort of the Champions League and Europa League. I'm going to be honest, not the best display in European football, but we won the double. We won the main trophies that obviously in this division which is the main focus and do you know what Enna Valencia what an absolute honour it is to use him the guy obviously that didn't have the ideal stint a few years ago when he was at West Ham but he's actually doing fairly well for himself in the Turkish division scoring 36 goals in the league in terms of some of the actual let's look at some of the team stats so you can see right here most points per game goes in our favour most goals in our favour most shots for fewer shots against this one actually got 65%, which is really, really impressive. Most dribbles made, fewest conceded, and the most clean sheets. In terms of the data hub, we are going to have a quick look. 3.14 goals per game and conceded at only 0.64. And as you can probably expect, most Tiki Taka tactics are also going to have a really good pass completion. And that's exactly what this tactic does. Nearly 90% of a tactic, I mean, nearly 90% on this tactic, sorry. Partnered up with 65% of the ball, it shows exactly how good this is at playing the ball around and dominating possession. But now I'm going to go over to Newcastle. And the main aim of this one was to try and get top four. And we done it by the skin of our teeth. Very, very difficult. I'm going to be real. We also did win a friendly cup final, but that's not really too important. Nothing to really talk about. But it is a trophy, I guess. However, the main thing was getting the top four and that's something we did manage to do coming in fourth place it's going to be Isaac coming in with 30 goals across the season Botman doing it in a friendly cup and it's actually going to be Miggy Almiron coming in with the most assists a player which I feel like had so much hype around him at some point in the season and hopefully he can go back to being that sort of hype player because he was really entertaining to watch in terms of some of the team stats, a lot of it isn't going to go for our, in our favour here. But what I will say, what this tactic is about is possession. It's about passing. And that's exactly what we have dominated in. Despite coming fourth place, we have come in and put a magnificent magnificent, sorry, display in possession. On average, possession sitting at 61% compared to Arsenal's 58. We've also got the best pass completion, which is really good to see. Considering we come fourth place, you don't always see, you know, you don't always expect to be seen on the league stats, but you know what? The two the two factors of this tactic, which is pass completion and sort of, you know, overall possession is going in our favour. It just shows that this tactic does work, even if you're not one of the top, top, top sides. And in terms of the data hub, we are going to go and have a little look right now when it loads in. There we go. So goals per game sit and bang on two and conceded still at under a goal a game. So it's more than impressive for me. Again, this isn't a tactic that's going to score five, six goals a game because it is purely based around a ticky-tacker possession styled. I've been asked on countless occasions recently to make a tactic like this one that dominates the ball well and you know really maintain possession that's exactly what i've done and do you know what the pass completion again is always going to be good typically when you have a lot of possession the pass completion has to be good because it means that you're holding on to the ball very well and completing several passes but then go over to manchester city a team which i feel like this definitely is sort of made for i'm um, not just man city but team with good midfielders passing ability in the team would suit this down to a t and do you know what it done incredibly well we won the premier league early Haaland coming in with 38 goals. We also won the Friendly Cup final. We also won the Champions League over Liverpool in a 2-0 win. Also the FA Cup and also the Community Shield. So technically it's going to be 5C and 5 trophies if you do include the Friendly. If not, it's still a quadruple winning season. So a very, very, very impressive season. Obviously Kevin De Bruyne contributing with 17 assists as well. So Kevin De Bruyne getting a piece of the pie. We love to see that as well. And in terms of the team stats, it's going to look very impressive. Our most points per game, most goals, most shots four fewer shots against best pass completion actually sitting at 90 this time and most possession, 4% over second place, which is going to be Arsenal. Fewest conceded as well, and also the most clean sheets. So a very dominant season. Obviously, when you are winning the Premier League, you do expect to see yourself a lot more sort of active in these stats. But do you know what? Even with Newcastle, we dominated the possession. But obviously, this is just really 
utter dominance. And in terms of the data hub, we are going to have a quick look. 2.42 goals per game, conceded at only 0.66 as well. So a very defensively solid tactic, considering it's not really designed to be, you know, a defensive underdog counter-attack tactic. I feel like a lot of the this sort of stat line, the conceded per game, is because we dominate the ball so much that the other team simply doesn't have the ball to try out and go and, you know, score chances or create chances even. So that's why it is so good in my opinion. And the pass completion, again, sitting very high, is actually going to be on 90.10%. So actually over 90% in this save. And we're now going to finish it off with PSG. Now, I wanted to try it with PSG because Man City are a very dominant team. But, they're, they're, you know, there's a little bit of competition in there. And I feel like PSG, there isn't much competition in this league. I wanted an opportunity to max out this tactic to the exact max up literally the top of the top and this is a very dominant league for psg obviously 109 points we also won the champions league in a 2-1 win over real madrid also on the coupe de france and the trophy de champion and it's going to be Kylian mbappe coming in with 46 goals and neymar with 17 assists so a very very convincing season and this is where we actually maintained a 70 70 a 67 percent pass completion most points per game most goals fewer shots against most shots for and the best pass completion alongside the fewest conceded and the most clean sheets the day hub is going to be very generous 3.26 goals per game conceded at 0.34 so if you are playing as a team like psg not necessarily psg but a team that you've built up over several seasons this is exactly what you can expect to do and the pass completion the highest it's ever been nearly getting to 90.5 90.27 is a ridiculous stat line and one that i'm very proud of so before we break down the tactic guys I want to quickly say if you are enjoying today's video be sure to leave a like subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications and also if you do want to support me any further you're more than welcome to the link to the patreon is in the description it's completely optional but i have gone out there and made a lot of perks for you guys so if you do wish to check it out it's going to be in the description but that's enough waffling let's go ahead and get right in to the tactic breakdown so guys this is going to be the possession king obviously a tactic built purely around dominating the ball gaining possession and not only gaining it but maintaining the ball as well and it is going to be a bit of a weird looking tactic as you can imagine and there is logic behind it so i'm going to go over a little bit of that first um if you're wondering why one side looks very differently to the other it's because I wanted to try and test out how the more of a deep line forward on the right hand side, a player which can receive crosses from this winger at the back post. And also what works really well is, as you probably noticed by looking at the screen right now, the wing back actually sort of acts as a very advanced he does actually act a bit like a winger because he gets really, really far up. And then this player pretty much does obviously drift out wide and does cover him so it works really really well on this side we've got a supportive fullback so we do actually have an actual winger that side but it works really well obviously it's not your, your usual look and tactic i do understand but trust me it works really well so let's kick things off and it is going to be based off a tiki taka um tactical style i know i know in the most recent videos i've been missing that out so i do apologize attacker mentality in possession you want fairly narrow play out of defense much shorter lower dribble less and work ball into the box alongside with low crosses in transition you want counter press hold shape distribute quickly distribute to the center backs and also take short goal kicks and out of possession you want a standard line a high press line of engagement and much more often alongside with prevent short goalkeeper distribution and with this type of stuff you can really dominate some of the big teams as we're going to go and see right now well i picked out a game it took me a while to get the, sort of the best one to show you guys but we want one with a lot of goals because that is what we're here for we're here for the goals and this is going to be a perfect example 11 nil win against Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League sort of group stage and it was an absolute thumping as we can see there with Neymar opening the goal tally we're going to speed it up a little bit as we have got a lot of goals to get through but do watch this part of the video boys because this is where you can see exactly how the tactic does get its goals and how dangerous it can be obviously although we don't have a winger on that right side a lot of chances are coming from it because of how advanced the fullback is and killing Mbappe here is going to do exactly what he's meant to do as we are going to see that player at the back stick sort of drifting in a little bit and tucking in the ball provided from the left hand winger Mendes into Vitinha back into Kylian Mbappe here sort of going alone he does square it and it's shocking defending from the Shakhtar side obviously not the best game for Shakhtar we've got to be real as Neymar tucks away another goal um quite an embarrassing result to be fair to him um Nuno Mendes again finding Hakim me obviously a player that is in acres of space and you can see how well it works guys like the fullback is so far pushed up he acts like a winger and he's always available for the ball to be received and then he can put in a perfect ball into the box a couple of pins in this game though um 
Again, to be fair to Shakhtar, I would lost my head as well. Again, we're seeing this time and time again. So I do want to point it out. Hakimi acting as a winger. He doesn't even look like a right back, does he? He is all the way up the field. Obviously, Kambembe finds him in acres of space. And if you look into the box right now, you're going to have Neymar at the near post. You're actually going to see that winger who is going to actually come inside with Kylian Mbappe. There's a couple of midfield options as well. Um, Verratti and also it's going to be Fabian on the edge. Who's he going to find? It's going to go to Neymar and Mbappe. The link up play is honestly incredible with this sort of front three. If you want to say that, we go again with Mendes down the left hand side. Options on the edge. It goes to Mbappe. Back into him. And again, and it's elegance. It really is elegance. Top football play. And again, it really does create some beautiful moments. Hakimi out again on the right-hand side. Acres of space. No one can get near him. Soler just drives into the box. And Mbappe at the, you know, it's incredible play. I don't need to keep talking. It, it, it speaks for itself, this tactic. It honestly does. It's honestly incredible. As Ramos gets the last one against a, I would say, a defeated Trubin in a game which was utterly dominant it was utterly dominant they didn't even stand a chance nothing went for him i don't know what happened to that shakhtar team but it was an absolute disaster so now we've watched some of the goals let's go ahead and look at some of the player roles now we're going to kick things off with a sweeper keeper on attack on triple more and take more risks we've got the wing back on attack on stay wider run wide with the ball cross from the byline and get further forwards and we've got two ball playing defenders on exactly the same. Both on take more risks and both on hold position. We then go over to the wing back on the left hand side, the support role. Sit narrower, run wide and get further forwards. Why is this one sit narrower? Because this winger is told to stay out wide. So it's good to have a nice mixture. The three in midfield, we've got a deep line playmaker on support. On shoot less often, take more risks and also hold position. We then have a centre mid on support on pass it shorter. And a Metzala on support on dribble less. Get further forwards, stay wider, move into channels, and also run from position. We then go over to the winger on attack, aim the crosses at the far post, as we saw in the highlights, dribble more, run wide, all the default instructions, you know what they are. We then go over to the deep line forward on support. Again, default instructions, hold up the ball, take more risks and move into channels. And the advance forward on attack on shoot more often and move into channels. So it is a real mixture of positions, but a mixture that works really, really well. And as always, I have gone to the effort to make you guys an attack and variant, any defensive variant. So feel free to check those out. We're now going to get right into them. No more time waste and let's get into them. So the attack and variant is going to be slightly tweaked. As you can see, I'll give you a chance to obviously notice the changes yourself, but we are going to talk about them anyway. And pretty much the main changes are we're going to be seeing the advanced forward obviously stay as he is the deep line forward goes to attack the winger goes obviously as he is to attack we do however introduce a metzala onto the attack role and also the deep line playmaker i'm going to make sure i believe there is something different in here possibly there isn't maybe i forgot my own tactic but that is pretty much how it is going to be so the deep line playmaker stays the same the metzala drifts up into an attack more attacking area the wing backs do stay the same because trust me you don't want to overcommit this fullback as well because it is going to just be you know it's just going to be an absolute abomination. If you overcommit everyone, you're going to be way too vulnerable. In terms of the possession, we're going to be looking at some of the changes. So obviously, we've got the be more expressive on. It's the main sort of focus. In transition, we've actually got distribute quickly on, and that's going to be sort of the main things. And the out of possession, we've actually adjusted the high, the high line from a standard one, obviously, to a higher defensive line, which is going to be pretty much the only changes from this one compared to this one. I just want to make sure, obviously, sometimes I make these tactics in advance. This was only made a couple of days ago, so I've got the memory of a gold fish but oh well we'll talk about that later but anyway so that is going to be the attack invariant of the system so only a couple of tweaks there but again we're going to look at the balance one and i'm going to go to the defensive side but there are going to be some more tweaks so here we go then bang right off the bat so as you can see we're obviously going to have the midfield players these two on support the deep line playmaker takes up a more defensive area and goes on defend the winger drops to support as well the wing back also drops to support still on stay wider and he does get further forwards but he's not on attack Obviously, the deep line forward goes back to a support role as well. In possession, a few noticeable differences. The main one or one noticeable difference is going to be the time wasting gets set to frequently. In transition, it gets sent to exactly the same, but this time it's going to be on slow pace down. And out of possession, the line just drops back to a standard with much more often still on. So not too many tweaks. And obviously, the mentality also goes to positive. But do pause the video, copy it as we go through them. If there's any player roles, which obviously you feel like I missed out, feel free to leave a comment. But I feel like um, I'm not going to click on anything that hasn't changed. You know, if there's no point in it changing, I'm not going to bother talking about it. So I only go through the stuff that has changed. It saves you guys time. It saves me time. And obviously, it makes the video a lot more enjoyable. But that is going to be one of the better possession tactics I've actually seen since the up 
update. So please do let me know how it treats you. You can download this from FM Scout. Obviously, you can only download the first version. Patreon members and Twitch subs can obviously get all three variants of being in the Discord or obviously over on Patreon. If you guys have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you for the next video.